Good morning, Playmobil fans. Welcome. Uh, if, is anyone out there ready for summer like I am? After a long, cold winter, I'm just ready to just prop up my feet next to a pool uh, and soak up some rays. So, you know what? Playmobil actually has my, my intentions in mind, and I got this brand new uh, Playmobil ad that I just want to take a look at and uh, because it looks like a nice little hotel that I can just uh, relax in, you know? Have some fun. So, uh, let's just take a look at this thing right now. Uh, that's really cool. Uh, looks like some summertime fun going on. In fact, that's the, uh, the name of the theme. So I can really dig it. Let's take a look at it here. Ah, here we go. It looks like this looks like part of the uh, hotel things that I can get here. So let's see. Ah, here we go. The main, uh, uh, basically the, uh, the the main suite that you can get. A nice bed you can get there. A uh, little chair, a little awning there, a uh, little partition, I mean, between the bathroom, and then uh, looks like a nice spa going on, too. It looks like a nice uh, Che Lounge in the background. Uh, that looks nice. Uh, look, nice little set. Uh, here looks, ooh, wow, that's a, like the big old hotel set. So the, you get a couple rooms up top, a lot of, uh, a lot of things going on, a lot of uh, accessories that I'm sure won't get lost at all. Is that a skateboard? That's cool. Oh, that... Uh, that maid will have a hard time cleaning up after those ruffian kids. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't want to really uh, work in, uh, work in this kind of hotel. That wouldn't be too nice. Uh, but yeah, so there's a bellhop there. Okay, that's a figure that you can get, um, as well as a couple patrons, and more bellhops uh, serving some more cafe and other things to various patrons. That's that's nice. That's nice. And the hotel, hotel. That's cool. Um, so here we go, here's the uh, dance hall. Looks like everyone's getting their groove on uh, underneath the disco ball. That's really kind of clever. Um, and uh, let's see, there's the, uh, looks like some sort of bellhop. Oh, it, uh, no, that's a, uh, uh, some, sort of, some sort of gift shop clerk. That's cool. And uh, and finally, it's uh, another housekeeper. I don't know, I don't know how that can possibly be summer fun if you, uh, if you have be people behind uh, behind dish shop counters and whatnot and I don't know uh, maybe some of the, some kids out there want to play as bellhops and and maids and whatnot but that's uh, I don't know I, I don't think I would buy something like that um, well that is to say unless you're cheeky enough and uh, clicked on this video you know I did buy that so <clears throat> without further ado yeah let's take a look at the Playmobil Summer Fun set 5 to 7 1 31 pieces 4 to 10 you're maid. Have fun. Comes with all these accessories here. The maid, the apron, uh, hoover, broom, plunger, uh, dustpan, and uh, and brush. Uh, as well as an ironing table, an iron, a little rag, some interesting uh, cloth uh, fabric pieces, a little trolley cart. <laughs> they actually give you a washing machine as well as cleaning detergents and whatnot and a tub to put the fresh linens in. Wow, Playmobil. Wow. I'm just a little blown away by how weird this whole set is. So, okay, here we go. Here's a little ironing set. Here's the little ironing board. Folds up nicely. Well, I say that on camera. It's a little tight. A uh, little ironing board there. Let's get the, uh, the maid out here. Oh, uh, she really has to Look the part, I guess, uh, and uh, she's she's got the uh, the cleaning cloth at all times to to wipe up the the ruffian kids' rooms and whatnot. Oh God, I hope people are clean in their Playmobil rooms. Um, yeah, so here we go. Here's the trolley cart in all of its very strange glory. Um, wheels that turn, things that fit in there, and I'm sure we'll we we'll get plenty of use. There's a plunger. Oh boy. Um, does it actually plunge? It does not. It is not like a Lego plunger. Look that up. Those ad, those plungers actually plunge. These are just decorative, thankfully. Uh, there's the Hoover, and um, there's the mop mop over here. Cleaning detergents. And speaking of the cleaning detergents, here's the washing machine. Let's just pop it open, and it even has a little cylinder inside, so you can put the linens inside. And thanks to a little uh. A little fisheye lens there you can see what you're washing 
Uh, interesting little dial there. Very, very interesting set going on here. I'm not really sure what to make of it. Here's the tub of freshly folded linens uh, to distribute back to the hotel guests, I'm sure. Um, this is just overall a very odd set. Um, yeah, um, this is, doesn't seem like very much fun, is what I'm saying. The figures are nice, the accessories are cool and all their strangeness, uh, but really what kid would want to be uh, a maid? Um, and not really a French maid at that, but uh, a maid that cleans up after ruffian kids and hotels and oh, who knows what goes on. So I really don't envy uh, the kid who wants to buy this set, which is probably why they got a little bit of a flack for uh, even reviewing or uh, even making this type of set. Um, but hey, you know, uh, somebody had an unopened box for me to open and uh, pilfer the inside, thankfully, uh, because it provided this very interesting advertisement look. So I really wish, uh, really wish I were to get some more of these sets on here. There might be future episodes going on. Uh, the bellhop it looks uh, especially mis miserable there, so he may uh, join the the maid here. Uh, but that doesn't really accumulate some more fun to me. So that's really all I'm trying to point out here. But jeez, uh, I'm not really sure what to do with this all now. Uh, anyway, if you'd like to see some more random reviews of stuff I just randomly find on eBay, obviously, uh, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.